oh, the BRCA1 gene is called the cancer gene, the breast cancer gene. I go, yes, absolutely. And I say then, everybody got the gene should get cancer. And I go, oh, well, that's the problem. Only 50%, 50% of the women that have the gene get the cancer. And I say, well, wait a minute. I thought you said the gene is called the cancer gene. It gives me cancer. I go, yeah, but 50%, half the people that have the gene don't get the cancer. And I say, what does that mean? Basic, what does it mean? I go, oh, it means this. Having the gene doesn't cause cancer. That's basically what it says. I said, but you told me it was a cancer gene. I go, having the gene does not cause cancer. Why? 50% of the people that have the gene don't get the cancer. I go, then what was different about them? And I say, you know, we never study that. <laughs> we only study the ones with the cancer. I say, yeah, but 50% don't get the cancer and they have the gene. Then what does it mean? The gene does not cause cancer. Something else does. Yeah. What having was different about those women? Yes. And now we're beginning to find out it's stress. 90% of the illness on this planet is, is really tied into stress. Less than 1% of the illness on this planet is actually controlled by genes. Less than 1%. Everything say, Why else you're them? saying is attitude, beliefs, reactions. Lifestyle, every way you're living, it's out of harmony and out of balance with the garden. Then you're so, moving toward so stress the stress triggers the gene, you're saying. Absolutely, 100%. The gene did not trigger the stress. It was the stress that triggered the gene. Relevant, you get rid of the stress and you don't end up with the effect. And it's interesting because the same thing applies to AIDS. Mm -hmm. I said, what do you mean? I thought, well, AIDS, you got the AIDS, you're going to die. Everybody, oh, you got AIDS virus, you're going to die. And I go, you know, there are thousands and thousands and thousands of men out there that have been tested to have the AIDS virus for over 20 or 30 years. And they have no disease. And again, it's like, how can that happen? The answer is because the virus itself did not cause the disease. The virus plus stress causes the disease. So stress is our number one killer. Absolutely, 100%. I and see. stress means you're not living in harmony or balance in the world in which you're living, and therefore you're running up against the world, and that, that causes the friction, that's the stress, and that's where the illness comes from.